Welcome back into Talking Fitchbury. Joining me this morning is Kelly Witt from the Fitchburg Public Library. Kelly, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Glad to have you back. Sorry, it's yeah. been a while to get you back on our show, but That's okay. it's the holidays, so yep. we're going to chase you down now. Cool. I'm Quite into it. Bit. So we've got uh, Halloween coming up, obviously, so mm -hmm. we, uh, we wanted to do some Halloween crafts uh, yeah. that you do with the kids, and uh, today we're doing uh, something with jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, not this jack-o'-lantern, no. though. Um, everything that I brought today is stuff that you can easily find at home. Even if you don't have an orange plate, you can paint it or color it. So um, the point is that you just look in your cabinet, see what you have, and make a craft. All right. So, so let's uh, let's get started. And I, I have to show you this. Mouths. Like, you know it's going to be fun. Noses. You know it's going to be fun. <laughs> mouths. That's all I'm saying. Um, so let's just get started with making the most creative jack-o'-lantern that we can. Like Creatives I told you, in my, uh, blood. Mm -hmm. this is uh, going to be the sample for the Halloween hunt, so um, <laughs> fresher. <laughs> there's a bunch of different cut out ones. So. Oh, so there's choices yeah. here. Eh? So we're using glue sticks, but you can just use whatever sticky. You can use tape or whatever. Da, da, da. This is a good fine motor skills activity. You know, when you remind things. us of the activity <laughs> motor skill, that's when I know I'm going to be in trouble. Let's see. All right. Cute. I already love it. What age group are we thinking this is going to work for? Um, well, as soon as you trust your kids not to put the glue in their mouth, it's pretty cool. You know, you can make the shapes as big or as small as, as you want to because you're probably going to have to cut out beforehand if your child is really little. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have an older kid, you can certainly, here, let's trade. Fantastic. You can certainly let them go to town with the scissors, and they'll love that. Did you uh, carve pumpkins yet this year? Well, you know, carving pumpkins with a toddler at home means my husband carves, and we run around like crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we did. And it's fun. And we, then we blew out the candle a hundred times. So. That's, that's, that's always the best a plus. Part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you carve pumpkins? We did. The little one, uh, she just watched, and we took turns holding her and trying not to put uh, pumpkin stuff in her eyes or, did you know. Did she get to touch the goo? Uh, she didn't. Oh, okay. We, we didn't know if we should touch, ever touch the goo, not ever touch the goo. We weren't uh, sure. I don't know. You went with the safer option. Yeah. It's fun to get a little messy. It is. I'm looking forward to doing that stuff. This is why I got to pay attention. Yes. <laughs> Easy stuff you can prep at home and make in the time when your children don't lose their attention. So you need something you can do in two minutes. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Done. Love Pretty it. Easy, and you could uh, you could do a add you know other things to this if you wanted to. Yes. Other th colors. Right. This is an adult doing it, but if it was a kid. You know, just give them the options, and they can stick them wherever they want to, and and just it's the process, not the product. Fantastic, <laughs> and it was easier for you to kind of cut things out pre ahead of time, so Definitely. it's all ready for just assembly and whatnot. Yes. And there you go. Yeah. Well, if you want to learn more about uh, what's happening at the part of the or the children's library part, yep. Stop on by and visit Kelly anytime. She sits at the desk. She'll guide you yep. to uh, some, you know, either great books or great crafts. Yes. All right. You have a wonderful Halloween, and we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. We'll be right back. It is Talking Fitchburg.